right there. That's this little piece of rubber. I had some rubber. I had some little things. Every once in a while, I, I, you know, I try to save little pieces like, hey, maybe I can use that later. And I had it, I had it over by my toolbox and I loosen this up and I just put it in there. A little bit thicker than the gap. I retighten up the, the bolt there and it's still there. I made it pretty tight. I was hoping it wouldn't bounce out and loosen up. I could have put two little shims in there like that, rubber shims. And, but I had enough room for just one. So I cut, just cut the little piece off and shoved it in there and then tighten this up and I fix that squeak. So I got that one there and I thought, okay, that's all good. And I looked at this diverter here, this, this mud flap. I mean, isn't that funny? You never think a mud flap would be, here's the back of the car. You always think the mud flaps would be over here, the back side, right? Not on the front side. That's why I didn't realize that there was one here because when I looked on the other side of the car, first I couldn't see it because it was broken. So I just made the assumption, okay, there's nothing there. But once I started crawling underneath the car and started looking, I saw that. I thought, son of a gun, maybe I should check this other side. And sure enough, when I checked this one initially, right here, the screw was loose, it was halfway out. This other screw in here wasn't very tight. This thing was dangling, it was shaking all over the place. So, and, and actually one of the screws was missing because it had vibrated so much it had come out. So what I did for the time being, I took that one off. I took the screws out and I took one of the screws and put over here for the missing screw. That was, that was right there. See, there's a screw there and a screw there. Okay, a bolt and I, and I fixed that. Took the other bolt out because I have to get another bolt at the store. I'll get it from an infinity dealer when I order a new little mud flap. The guy was already trying to tell me, encouraging me, and saying, oh, just take those off, they don't do anything anyways. Yeah, well, if they don't do anything, how come that one got so broken and cracked up? You know, it must have done something, it must have protected something, right? And on this, this is protecting back underneath there, there's a gas line that goes back in on the other side, and you've got, you know, other things going on under there. And so I thought, nope, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to, I'm going to get a new one of those. I'm going to order that from the store and, and see on this one. Now that I've got the light where that hole is uh, in the plastic. See, it's just going right up against the uh, metal frame. There's no, there's no hole in the back side. So that tells me there's nothing that came out there. So I'm going to pre-drill a hole there. I'm going to put a screw in there and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get this out of here. I'm going to just take my felt tip pin and put a mark there. Then I'm going to go and go ahead and take this out so I can drill that and try to pre-drill, uh, pre-install a screw in there. And, you know, it's not going to have any threads in it, so I'll, I'll have to make some. Uh, I'll just put a wood screw in there uh, bigger than the hole and see if I can't get it to work maybe have to mess with that a little bit and see there's a big hole there's a big hole in the uh, in the black plastic here so I've got to have a washer and I'm not sure if I have a washer uh, uh, with a small hole in it with a bigger washer on there so this is something I'm gonna have to fix and so I was looking I'm like what am I gonna use for that and I thought I would I come up and look what I found. Here, see, I could, I could use this for a washer, couldn't I? I could break this off. I could just take a pair of pliers and, and two pairs of pliers or pliers and a cutter, bend this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, break it off. And then I've got a, the screw hole and I can use the rest of that as a washer to go over that because the screws I'm going to use aren't that big and it will probably go right through the metal where where is okay see i i just brought these containers out because if in your garage if, if you're gonna start doing a few things on your own you might want to get some things like this you can get that at the store here's another nice little container loosen those up and voila we've got a couple of those mommy had those 
and she's got another one with nothing in it. And we'll use that for something. Okay? And see, she had another container, and here's some wood screws in here. But see, the, the screws, the screw head doesn't, isn't wide enough to cover where this hole is. See? Um, remember, this is the one that got broken off. See how much of that broke off? That's a whole big piece. When the guy at the dealer said, oh, those don't work, those, those don't do anything, just take those off, we just take them off. Yeah, right. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna use a wood screw in here. I'll probably start off with a smaller screw, and, and if it works, great. If not, then I can pre-drill the hole a little bit bigger and put in a fatter screw and hope that it, hope that it holds. And then, then I'll probably cut this off. I'll probably cut that off and, and use that. But I'm not sure. I might have I might have something else in my nail bag. Lots of times I'll, I'll save different things in my nail bag. And I thought I would, I, I'm pretty sure I have something here I can use. And I thought something in particular, I wanted to grab it and show you what I thought I could use had I not found that other, that other thing. I might have to dig deep, here we go. Okay. This thing right here. It was just, looks like a washer, huh? Well, I had an electrical outlet and I replaced it and there's tabs on them and I didn't use it so I broke the tab off and then I saved it for a washer. And lots of times, like if you're, you've seen any of my uh, videos where I install an electrical outlet. Let's say like an electrical outlet where I've got plugged in right there. I've, I got different uh, videos on how to install a cut-in box, how to install a, an electrical outlet in a cut-in box. And in a cut-in box, you have to take you have to take the ears off the electrical outlet before you install them. These, this thing is like a little ear. I just broke it off. You can kind of see where, you can kind of see where I broke it off right there, see? And I saved it for a shim or for a, for a washer. Now see, I can put my screw on there and then put that on there and use that as a washer. And look at that. I think, I think it will keep the screw from going through there and it will be just tight enough to keep that nice and tight. Because if I put the screw in there, it's, it's gonna go right through that hole. Let's see if I can, okay, where are those screws at? Bear with me here for a minute. I'll get, I'll get a screw out that I think is gonna work. Okay, here's just a wood screw. See, it's got a pretty fat head on it. And I wasn't sure if the head would go through here. Let's just see if it does or not. No, look at that. It's good. It's good. So I don't, I think I can get that tight and it's not going to pull through. Now, if I had a screw head that was smaller than that, I think it would pull right through there. Let's, let's see if I can't find one to show you. First off, those threads aren't long enough, but see the head is smaller, and it, it will go right through, almost, see, it goes right through there. If I were to tighten that up, I could not use that screw, could I? But, but I can use that bi this bigger screw. Now, if I did have that small screw head, let's say I had the small screw head. Okay. Now let's say I had that, this little washer thing. You can buy washers at the store too. But see that washer is just a hair bigger than that. And that, then I could use that small screw and put on there, couldn't I? Provided it had longer threads, those threads are probably not long enough. Maybe in a pinch I could use that, but 
So see, you, you just got to do different things. I don't, I could drive to the store and, and see they have washers. They got fat uh, washers that are way bigger than that with a small hole in it. It's called a fender washer. And I could put that on there and, and that would work. But I've got that other way of fixing it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and fix that um, and, and see what comes out. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. But as you go through, all you, you, you know, you just keep checking different things. And, and so let's see, that was, uh, I had fixed, I fixed the wheel well there and, and then I checked the other wheel well on the other side and I, and I tightened those up, I put the screw in the back and took that off there. This, everything else was okay on this side. And then I went ahead and fixed this, this fender, uh, this deflector with the screws back there. I put the washer, the rubber, uh, uh, the, the rubber trim up underneath there and fixed that. I tightened up and I tightened up this initially. I tightened up this initially and I thought, okay, let's just do that and see what happens. But listen, <laughs> 